All right, so today I'll be unboxing my new ukulele. Um, I have been playing a lacquer model for about um, just over two years. And all the songs that I've used ukulele on have been using my lacquer. So this is my new ukulele. Now it's from the Southern Uke store in the UK and it is a snail. It's also a concert size. The people at Southern Ukes were really helpful and um, they organised a, a Zoom meeting where I could hear the ukulele compared to another ukulele and just get a feel for what it was like. So that was really great in helping me decide what I wanted. So let's just get into it, shall we? So the ukulele comes in this really huge box, so it's very nicely packaged and on the website you had the option to, so you could also buy a button for a strap, which they fitted for me, so, so helpful. Let's have a look inside the box. In the box there is bubble wrap and there's a lot of cardboard and things to make sure the ukulele stays secure and doesn't get damaged. So here is the box the ukulele comes in and also the ukulele comes with a free soft case on the Southern Uke store. Really nice and plain, it's got the snail logo on the front. another layer of protection. So the people at Southern Ukuleles also were kind enough to fit new strings to the ukulele before they sent it off to me, so that's really, really amazing. It's really nice of them. So let's get to the ukulele. This is the model that I bought. The S60C, which I'm sure you already know because that's why you clicked on this video. Now I can already tell, compared to my usual ukulele, this is a lot heavier. It feels quality, like a quality instrument. You can see it looks it as well. It's got a lovely glossy finish, as you can see. It's lovely detailing here on the back and on the sides here. And not to mention this lovely snail, snail shell type shape here, which is beautiful. It's just a beautiful instrument, really. The button that I got fitted is right here, and it seems to be fitted really well, so that's great. And you could choose from four different types, so you could choose silver, gold colour, white and black really reasonable price to be fitted as well. With the S60C, the wood is unique on each ukulele. I loved this um, stripe. I thought it was really unique and really lovely. You're getting an instrument that you know will be unique because of the pattern of the wood. I think that really makes it something special. It's got these lovely, almost heart-shaped tuning pegs, which are in a lovely red color. It reminds me of roller skates. It's got a red, fret side which is lovely as well. So it's got a snail logo at the top here with a nice dark wood which looks really nice against the uh, slightly lighter wood and I, I'm a really big fan of darker wood for my ukulele. It's got a lovely rosette here and the tuning board here is a lot more like a guitar tuning board which I really like. I think it just goes with the whole instrument and I love the the colour contrast here, I think that's lovely. I, I just think it's really lovely, so I'm just gonna have a, have a play around with it now. Um, see you in a bit. So, with the ukulele, you get this snail ukuleles bag, although I would like to point out that with a ukulele like this, it's worth getting a solid case just for extra protection. This ukulele, the S60C, is a solid acacia model with solid top, sides and back. 
there's detailing down the middle of the back here. So the S60C also has a slightly wider neck than um, the average ukulele, which is 35 millimeters. So a wider neck can be really good if you struggle with chords, if you're a bit more heavy-handed and need that extra, need that extra bit of space. But also, I think for anyone, just a bit more space is always nice, isn't it? So basically anyone who wants this model for any reason should get it I think. I've been using a lacquer for about two years now and the reason why I upgraded was I, I discovered a slight issue with the tuning and the tuning pegs and that's something I really love about the S60C is that the tuning pegs are really good quality. As I've been tuning this up um, there's been no grinding of the gears here which can be very off-putting, believe me, like on my lacquer. It seems to be keeping its tuning really well. Definitely I've noticed a difference up the fretboard here. Uh, it keeps its sound, it, it sounds a lot more vibrant and a lot more like a ukulele rather than a box with some elastic bands on it. This one keeps its tune and keeps its sound really well up the fretboard. <laughs> So I'm going to play a few of my own songs just so you can get an idea of what the ukulele sounds like and there'll be two different types of songs just to get a variation of the sound. But I'll start by just strumming it I suppose. It's got a lovely sustained sound that carries on even now as I'm talking. It only just, it, you know, it just faded. And you can really build on it by by strumming more instead of uh, the sound fading. So I'd say this ukulele is for someone who wants something really beautiful looking, something to perform with and just to, to play, to play out, to show off, to show off. Because of the gloss finish, I would say the ukulele isn't really suited for people playing a lot of things that require a lot of plucking, a lot of going up and down the fretboard. I'd also say it's not for people who want a really loud sound because this ukulele has a very subtle and intimate sound. Most of the sound is stays around the sound hole as opposed to ukuleles purposely designed to be louder, made out of different woods for example, and they play a lot more confidently in their sound, which is great. If you're looking for that, you're not looking for this ukulele because it is a subtle and lovely, beautiful sound to suit a subtle, lovely, beautiful instrument. So it doesn't have a pickup, but in my opinion, that's a good thing. I find pickup sound to be unkind. I'm not a fan of pickup sound on a ukulele and I much prefer to put a mic next to the strings and play like that because I think the sound is a lot more resonant. According to some sources you can get this ukulele with a pickup built in which is great if, if you like that but personally I prefer it without. So I'm really happy with my instrument and I'd say if you if you're thinking about buying a ukulele and this one's catching your eye, I'd say go for it because that's what I saw and I loved it and I'm so far I'm really happy with it. I'll just give you a play of some songs just to so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. This one's from People We've Met. Never that simple and I've always 
wondered why I finished the chapter and I can't complain. I've left it too late, the past never stays. We're just people we've met. We're just people we've met. I'm sorry if I made a mistake. The past something I can't forget. We're just people we've met. Oh, we're just people we've met I hope we see the same light someday People we've met And next I will be performing a snippet of my winter song called Winter's Holding On Bells and rainbow colored buzzing lights. It's time to see the good now. See the good, the warmest season of the year is colder than the rest. But ice is building up on our doorsteps. Fire warms our hands in seconds, but we aren't stubborn hearts. It's time to reminisce now with tales of Christmas past. Even through the dark, games around the fireplace still. Talks to warm the soul. Everyone is here. Winter's holding on this year. This year. So that was from Winter's Holding On. And if you like the songs, you can check out my SoundCloud, which is at Hannah Paloma and will be in the link in the description box. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. Bye for now.